Hi everyone, my name is Venu Gopal from Team Cloudy ML. In this video, we will be seeing why my resume got shortlisted for multiple data science roles as well as for uh, software engineer roles. So, I will be showing you my whole resume. So, we will try to analyze each and every part of the resume and try to draw some tips from the resume that you could use for uh, creating your own resume or to enhancing your own resume itself. Okay. So I'll be sharing you all the resources that you have that I have used for uh, creating this resume and I will be also sharing you a sample template that you could just modify and use it for applying for various internships and jobs. So without wasting any further time, let's quickly dive into this video. So coming to my resume path, so let me just uh, go to my resume. So this uh, this is how my typical resume used to look like uh, when I used to apply for internships as well as for jobs. So uh, just to let you know, I am a 2022 graduate, so I have uh, graduated this year itself, okay, and I have graduated this May. Now we will be analyzing each and every section of the resume. So we will be seeing what is the relevant information that you need to put into this resume so that uh, it it would look much better, okay. So the first thing uh, is the whole resume itself. So if you see, this is like a single page resume. So it is always important that uh, try to confine everything in a single page itself because a recruiter typically gets on average of 10 to 20 seconds in order to review a resume. So if we put everything in a single page, so it would help the recruiter to go through your resume in a much better way. So if you have like two to three pages of resume, then the recruiter won't be uh, very happy to look at your resume, right? Because it is two to three pages and it will take a lot of time for them to analyze your whole resume. So it is very important that uh, you need to combine everything in a single page. If you have so much experience, then it might go up to maximum two pages. But as a fresher, I would always suggest confine everything into a single page itself. Okay. So that is like the first uh, tip that I would tell you. So coming to the sections of each, uh, sections of the resume. So the first section is my name and the contact details. So I have omitted my email and the phone number from the whole resume. So you need to put your name and other contact details where the recruiter can contact you. And you can uh, mention other handles like GitHub, Lead Code, and Hacker Rank just to show your projects or any other skills that you have. Okay, so you could put those links here. Uh, now this is this is like the first section that should be present at the top of the whole resume. So that was like the first section. Now coming to the remaining sections. So if you are a fresher, like complete fresher, if you do not have any sort of uh, resume itself, you might not have this professional experience. So in that case, I would suggest uh, put the projects first. So otherwise you can put the education first, followed by projects, followed by skills, okay, then followed by achievements. So this should, this should be like a typical order if you are a complete fresher and if you do not have any sort of uh, professional ex experience. So professional experience in the sense any sort of internship experience or full time experience, okay. So if you do not have any sort of professional experience, what you could do is you could mention your education first, followed by projects. So as a fresher, I would suggest you uh, try to work on as many projects as possible. So that you could uh, mention a minimum of three projects in your resume okay so that will help uh, you fill the whole resume itself so try to uh, like work on those projects so in my resume i have put the professional experience at first so when i was not having this professional experience i have mentioned my education first followed by these projects followed by skills followed by achievements so that was like the order that i have followed when i did not uh, why did not like when i did not have this uh, professional experience now coming to this professional experience, uh, put all the professional experience that you have. So if you are uh, having some sort of internship uh, experience, you can mention that here. Okay. So you could uh, mention everything in uh, this block format, like one block should indicate uh, one company itself. So what needs to be put in your resume? So for the first thing is the position followed by your company and then followed by your uh, internship period or the whole uh, working period. Now you need to mention all the things that you have uh, done during that internship or uh, during your job. So what you need to mention is whatever you have done during your internship or your job. Now you need to quantify each and everything and you need to put everything in bullet points. So it is a very necessary that whatever the, th uh, the things you have done, you need to mention as bullet points. And it should not be like a, um, it is like a paragraph. If you put everything as a paragraph, that would not look good, right? So you should put everything as a bullet points and try to quantify each and every point so that it will help the recruiter to see that this particular guy during his internship period or during his job 
uh, has uh, like uh, created this much of in impact in the whole uh, company itself so it is always necessary that you should mention every um, a, like every company in a blog format and what are the information that you are giving in uh, like providing in the resume it should be put under bullet point so that it will help recruiter to read in a much better way and try to quantify each and every um, bullet point so that it will help uh, the recruiter understand that you have created some in impact during your internship or during your job okay so that is very necessary so you need to mention each and everything in this uh, format itself so try to put bullet points so just to repeat so what are the uh, tips that I have drawn from this professional experience is uh, put everything in blocks and uh, try to put everything as bullet points uh, in the whole experience itself. Now try to quantify each and every bullet point as well. So these were like the tips. Okay. Now moving on to the projects part. So the project part is also similar to the professional experience itself. So uh, you, you will mention your project name and in the description. So the description should contain uh, these links the first link it would be the your github link and your deployment link if you have done any sort of deployment so it is very necessary that you are providing any sort of proof for that particular project and try to put everything in bullet point itself so whatever the information about anything you are providing try to put everything in bullet point itself so if you put everything in bullet points that would look amazing because if you put everything as a paragraph that would look like he is reading some uh, sort of book itself so it, it should it is not a good practice so it is always suggestible that you are putting everything in bullet points and in projects uh, so whatever the project you have done mention it and mention the uh, like provide the github link or the deployment link okay so if you do not provide these links what will happen is it will create uh, this sort of impression that uh, oh this guy has uh, worked on this project but there is no sort of proof for this project so whether to move forward or not they will be in a, a dilemma right so it is always necessary right uh, it is always necessary that you are providing any sort of uh, proof for the pet, uh, particular project it might be your github link or any sort of deployment link okay so that needs to be provided so that will uh, improve the credibility of that particular uh, project itself now the number of projects that you want to mention like as a fresher if you do not have any sort of uh, professional experience it is suggestible that try to put minimum of three projects now if you are a professional like if you have some sort of uh, internship experience and you have worked on really good projects you could reduce the number of projects to two or one okay so that depends on uh, the amount of uh, like amount of information that you are providing in the whole um, resume itself so i have worked on multiple projects uh, but i have mentioned only two here because uh, the projects that i have done during my internships that uh, quantifies a lot about my resume so i have mentioned only two uh, projects here okay now just to uh, tell you one thing so i have uh, created this kvz museum right so this is like a movie recommendation system with sentiment analysis and my recruiters were very impressed with the uh, way i uh, deployed the whole uh, website and the way i have done the documentation so it is very necessary that you are maintaining those profiles as well let's see you have provided this github link mention everything in your readme uh, readme itself so whatever the steps that are required to run the projects and whatever you have done what are the metrics that you have got everything try to put at uh, put in your resume okay so that is like a good practice maintain the github repos as well so if you are applying for a tech jobs it is very necessary that uh, you are providing this github link at least the github link needs to be uh, provided if you have deployed it you can provide the deployment link if it is not deployed you can uh, leave it there but some sort of uh, proof should be provided when you are mentioning this projects so this was about like the professional experience as well as the projects now followed by skills now skills it is not necessary that you need to put everything in this format so i like this format that's why i have put everything in this format but it's your wish you could uh, put like comma separated or pipe separated values and one thing you need to remember try to put only those skills that you actually know if you are not aware of any of the skills you should not mention it here because if you mention any of the skills that you are not aware and let's say if the recruiter uh, the technical recruiter that uh, you have got and he is uh, like a pro in that particular skills at that time you will be like over right your uh, your whole opportunity will be lost so it is uh, very necessary that you are mentioning only those skills that you can uh, really uh, that you really have and you can really answer any question from that particular skill okay so only those skills you need to mention so it, you can mention in any sort of format but it should look good and it should be readable so try to remember that thing so whatever you're mentioning in your whole resume it should be readable and it should be good looking and you can format any sort of, uh, like you can follow any sort of format but i have followed this format because i liked it so that's like your personal choice that's your wish
Now coming to this education, so one thing you can uh, put this education at the top or at, uh, at bottom. So if you are studying at a good college like IIT or NITs, you could uh, mention uh, the name of your college, the branch, the uh, like the year from which you are studying and what is the CGPA that you have. If you have a good CGPA, you should mention. If you do not have, that's your wish if you want to mention or not. Uh, like if you are a fresher, my suggestion would be always mention your CGPA. Whatever the CGPA you have, try to mention it because as a fresher, it is very necessary. As experienced people, that's your wish. So, in the education part, uh, you could uh, mention uh, a maximum of your, uh, like the current degree followed by your uh, whole inter uh, intermediate degree or any sort of degree itself. Okay, so what, what needs to be mentioned? One thing is from when you are studying in that particular degree and what is uh, your current branch okay so what is the major or what is your minor and what is the name of your college so that should be mentioned so that's what i have mentioned here and i have mentioned only my btech degree itself i have mentioned i haven't mentioned any uh, sort of intermediate or uh, my 10th class degree okay because it would increase my length of the resume right that i didn't want it i just wanted to put everything that is very relevant for the job itself now followed by achievements so achievements you can have any sort of achievements let's say you have got any first prize in a hackathon uh, or you have got for first prize in any codathon or you have uh, got uh, you have won any sort of uh, codathons or hackathons during your uh, fest itself so you could mention all those achievements here so there are multiple um, like competitions that are being held in the hacker earth code chef code forces right you could mention all those achievements here and you have uh, published any so, uh, sort of articles you could mention the uh, articles as well you could provide the links for them and you have if you have done any sort of courses and you have uh, performed really well in those courses and you have got some sort of award you can uh, even put it here so in the achievement section uh, you should put all the points uh, that um, that you are really proud of and you have that will really improve the quality of your whole resume so that's what you need to mention your achievements for achievements uh, section so one more thing guys uh, try to like uh, put everything as bullet points itself now one more thing what you can notice from this whole resume is so let me just go back okay so i have opened the kaggle i guess yeah so this one right okay yeah let me just do this full screen and this this whole resume size yeah so this looks fine so if you see here now um what you could notice from this whole resume so everything is like a a whole uh blocked format right so whatever uh, the specific things um, or the skills that you have done during your uh, internship or during your projects you should bold everything so whatever the technologies that you have worked on uh, bold everything okay so bold this website link bold the text tag that you have worked on uh, bold this uh, whole stars format or how many problems you have solved if you have got any sort of medal you can bold that so try to bold these sort of things because it will help the recruiter uh, to understand or uh, he will read these first uh, first things right crf lstm named entity recognition digital birth so the recruiter who is analyzing your whole resume uh, that uh, that recruiter will uh, like his eyes will be first on his bold uh, letters itself so it is always necessary that you you will uh, bold this uh, whole text type what you have used in this whole uh, professional experience or your project so that will help the recruiter uh, to analyze the resume in a much faster and better way okay so it is not like you should uh, like format uh, like uh, bold your whole resume itself but only highlight only some of those points that will help a recruiter in order to know about this particular section in a much better way so that is always necessary so what i could uh, tell from the whole resume is put everything as a bullet points i uh, try to bold all the important terms and uh, separate everything in a block format so it should look really well uh, put some spaces between each and every block and follow this sort of uh, sequence for the sections like first you could uh, mention your education or if you have professional experience you could uh, mention your professional experience now followed by you should have some projects you should have this uh, skills then achievements now as a fresher you might have this positions of responsibility right like you might be serving as a president for any sort of student chapter or you might be uh, serving as some ex for some by uh, student club right so you could mention uh, you could add another section like positions of responsibility and you could mention everything that you have done during your position okay so this is how a, tip, a typical resume should look like now talking about the sources that i have used for building this resume so this resume was completely built using this flow cv so i have this uh, flow cv website so let me just uh, quickly exit from full screen 
so we have this flowcv.com what you can do is uh, you can just type flowcv.io so this is like the website flowcv.io you could just uh, create your resume from here so they have multiple free uh, templates from uh, here you could pick, uh, pick any of them and you can uh, just enter your details here your resume will be automatically filled okay so this was like one of the uh, sources that i would like you uh, like to uh, like you to export and one more thing was nova resume so nova resume is another um another website that i used to uh, use in order to build the whole resume itself so they also have some uh, free templates you could either use uh, free templates itself so no need to go for uh, paid templates if you have money you could uh, opt for that but if there is um it like our free templates is uh, very much enough you there is no necessity for opting for uh, paid ones but free uh, would work out you could either uh, build your resume from here itself so these two were like the solid sources that you could uh, that you could use like the flow cv and the nova resume so i have personally used this uh, website that's why that's why i have uh, telling you to use these websites apart from that this is like my current resume so i have uh, built something on my own uh, from this uh, google docs itself so i am using currently this resume so i will be providing the link for this particular resume format in the description so you could uh, simply use this uh, resume template in order to build your own resume itself so that's your wish if you want to like uh, build, uh, build using this website you could do this uh, like i would suggest to go from this website itself because it is like very easy in order to build your first resume once you have put everything in this resume if you want to opt for this resume then you can come here so th this has like some sort of tables and everything so if you want to format uh, this according to you then it might uh, be little hassle for you so if you want like a hassle free experience you can uh, opt for this flow cv or nova resume you just need to enter your whole uh, data here and everything will be well arranged in here so it is like very customizable you could go to the design you could choose the template you can do everything every sort of formatting that you want in this uh, website itself okay so this was everything about my resume and why it got shortlisted so what i think is i had really good professional experience like internship experience helped me a lot and project experience also helped me a lot and the way i prepared the resume i think it is good i won't say it is very good but it's good it is better than most of the people i guess so that's why that's where uh, i had a good impact on my resume so uh, that's uh, those were my tips and everything about my resume so that's all for this video guys i hope uh, you understood how a typical resume should look like and what are the different tips that you could use in order to build your own resume or to enhance your resume so let's meet in some other video till then keep learning keep hustling thank you